Hello and welcome to All-in-One SEO, the best WordPress SEO plugin and toolkit to improve your website search rankings. In this video, I'll walk you through how to create an XML sitemap in WordPress. If you've not done so already, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. So the first thing you're going to do is come over to your WordPress dashboard and then we can come down to All-in-One SEO and then sitemaps. Here we'll see a few tabs. We'll see general sitemap, video sitemap, news sitemap, and RSS sitemap. So these are based on different content that your website may have. Let's look at the general sitemap options. First, we want to make sure that your sitemap is enabled. So make sure the little toggle button here is turned on. Next, let's go ahead and preview your sitemap. So if you click this link, this will take you to a page that lists all of your XML pages broken down into certain categories or types. So for example, here's one for posts, here's one for pages. So if I click on posts, here you'll see the couple test posts that I have on this website. And it'll break down some information that Google and other search engines may use, such as how many images the page has, the priority, the frequency that the page is updated or changed and then the last change date so once google crawls these pages it'll revisit this once in a while to see if it's updated recently or not next if we come down we can see the sitemap settings the first one is enable sitemap indexes so that's the first page that we saw when we opened up the sitemap if you have a smaller website that has less than a thousand pages we actually recommend that you disable this if you have a larger website you want to make sure this is enabled and if you're not sure which one to pick then just leave it enabled for now under links per sitemap, by default, this is set to a thousand. You can put it up to 50,000, but we do not recommend it because the pages will take longer to load and Google or other search engines may time out and not load your whole XML page. If you have more than a thousand links per sitemap, this will actually break it down into pagination. So you'll have multiple pages broken down by 1000 URLs. Here you can decide what post types to include. So right now we're including all post types. If we uncheck this, you can see the options of posts, attachment pages, or any other post types that you may have in here. I'm going to just include all post types for now. Under taxonomies, this is just your categories and tags. So if we unclick this, you can see categories and tags. So if you don't want your tags included in your sitemap, you could just leave it on categories. Now the last two, we have date archive sitemap and author sitemap. And these are created by WordPress when you've published posts. We normally don't include these in the sitemap because they have little value in search results. Results. If you do want to include these in your sitemap, then you can enable these settings. Just a quick note that search engines can still index your content and display it in search results, even if it's not included in your sitemap. Including content in your sitemap just means it'll be added, updated, and deleted on search engines much faster than waiting until they can find your content on their own. And secondly, a little quick note here under search appearance, and for example, taxonomies, we can look where it says show in search results. And if we select no, this will put the page as no index. And this will mean that it won't appear in your settings for the sitemap. It just won't include those pages at all. And back on the general sitemap tab, make sure that you save your changes once you're happy. If you have any questions, you can browse our helpful documentation, or if you require further assistance, please feel free to submit a ticket and we would be happy to help.